Uh, Welcome back to Instant Replay Jesus. Live. Joe, you got to do it. We're starting an episode. <laughs> I'm putting the pressure on oh, you. Wow. God. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, God. Okay, Nick. Oh, uh, my God. If you were fighting, uh, we were talking about how I had to choose between my mom and our kaiju. Oh. Uh, all right, well, well, we'll keep going. Okay, um, yeah. Kaiju? Uh, you're talking about I need to choose between killing my mom or kaiju. And I thought, that's, that's easy because mom's an easier target. But t I need you to tell me mom's who are the two, target. like, like <laughs> scariest, like, h horror forces or, or, you know, like... Uh, like you know, Freddy entities or, or yeah, the things that are the scariest to you, and who would you rather have as like the thing you have to deal with? Oh, rather, ha so I have to make the I have to make the list and pick from the list. Well, yeah, you got to pick the two worst, and then you have to tell me which is the lesser of the two. Like, which would you rather Dude, have to survive against? That's a hard question. I know. Deal with it. I should have. So, deal been with it. <laughs> first, just choose the two first. But. So right off the bat, like the the ghost from the ring, Ringu. Oh yeah. Like that, you're not in a place that's haunted, you are haunted forever. Right? Yeah, that's, like, that's pretty tricky. That sucks. That sucks a lot. Tricky, 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 <laughs> so, tricky. Uh, pretty much any J-horror actually is pretty much gonna be the source for the worst things, aren't they? Like, at least in American horror, you can usually kill the bad guy. Aw. And then you can kill yourself by dropping into saw blades. Yeah. <laughs> um, in, in American horror, you, you know, Freddy is terrifying, but you can beat Freddy. Yeah. Um, Jason is terrifying, but you can cut his head off and drop and, him back in a lake. And he walks really slow. And he walks really slow, yeah. Um, so I think definitely that that one. That would be the, the one, uh, the, the like, the worst one. Um, or any other equivalent, you know, because so there's some others. What's the second worst one that you would potentially be dealing with? <sighs> That's so tough. Um, oh, man, that's a really hard place to drop. What's so the? I mean, I guess the thing is, like, if we're if we're gonna say something, it's something like the Grudge or like Event Horizon. We presume that you're stuck on the ship and that you're dealing with it. As well, that's the thing about there. the Grudge, right? Is once you enter the house, you're haunted. Yeah. So it follows. Well, it does you. follow you. Yeah. The grudge yeah. Is, the Grudge is scary too. Please. So the Grudge is like the other major hitter. As a, as a question, real quick, have you seen the original Asian version of the Grudge? Yeah, I have. And I, the effects are you know cheaper, but. It's I just, found it scarier. it's so good. Yeah, it's so good. Um, and I mean, those kinds of ghosts are definitely the ones that are the worst. So do we just say J-Horror Ghost as like <laughs> column one? I guess because the Ring Ghost and the Grudge Ghost feel very, very similar. Right, you're not getting away yeah. from them. I mean, at least in the Ring one, you can get away by copying the video. Yeah. So if I had to pick between the two of those, I'll pick Samara right? and oh, then yeah. copy the video. But, but I feel like we need to get a separate, an another, like... Entity. That's what I'm saying. Like, it feels too similar to compare those. Um, so, like, let's find the horror movie that would be the other one that you would just not want to have to deal with ever. Yeah. Uh, it Follows. Ooh, that's, that is... Is great. another... It's very similar. And the, the way you have to get rid of it is... Is awful because you're direct, like, with... with it's kind of like the ring, in a but, way. But it's a direct... You're picking who it goes after next. Yeah, oh, yeah. With the ring, you just have to copy the tape, and then whoever finds it, finds it. It's not your fault entirely. I mean, you can argue that, but you know what I mean. But with It Follows, if anyone hasn't seen it, you have to pass it directly to another person... Amazing movie. I really loved it. Had a bad moment towards the end where I was like, God, this just doesn't fit. But overall, good movie. But there are a lot of plot holes that, you know, we, it follows, has kind of the, the Jason issue where it, it moves slowly. Could but who you says, fly away from it? We don't know. Who says it doesn't teleport, though? That's, yeah, we don't know. Yeah. There's not enough information there. It's, and I mean, and whereas, that movie's more of a metaphor than an actual horror scenario. Hmm. So it's hard to make too many, like, direct issues with like continuity with it because it doesn't have to matter i can tell you i think my the two things that have scared me the most were or, or the things that i would won't, won't know, not want to deal with would be either event horizon or uh oculus uh, i don't think you've seen oculus though i haven't still uh, i totally didn't start a timer for this episode oh no so i have no clue what we're doing <laughs> how long we've been at it oh i got stuck on the wall um i guess i'll start a timer now and then when we get to like five minutes maybe we'll go six minutes yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll just go another 10 here. If it's Maybe a 16-minute episode, it's 16. What if we were to say from right here, we cut to my victory? What if we fast-forward? Or fast-forward to the point where it feels like we can we can say we've got a victory coming. Uh, but then everyone knows. Like, there's no surprise. Oh, so we just fast-forward to the next time I die, then? <laughs> um, Make the, every death in, like, slow motion? We can, we can do some cuts. 
Yeah, because I feel like we don't want to do too many episodes of this. Yeah, that's true. Get some meta going on here. It's true. Um, Ugh, it so visually is not no. appealing to watch it a thousand times. Yeah. So, believe me, I know. <laughs> do you? Do oh you yeah. Really? So we'll we'll figure it out in post, and we'll be back to talk to you guys soon. That said, to give you an idea, uh, real quick before we go away, uh, the, uh, I would rather ha deal with Event Horizon than Oculus. Um, oh yeah, I guess I didn't answer. Oh yeah, yeah. What is the one you'd rather deal with? Oh, I, oh did I answer? Hmm. I can't pass something on directly to another person, it so too hard. I'm gonna take the J Horror Ghost. Hopefully, I get Samara, but if I get one that is gonna kill me, it's gonna kill me. That's the oh, end. Oh shit! That bullet came backwards. Yeah. Man, J Horror Ghosts are scary though. <laughs> Super scary. Super scary. Like, I kind of want to see um, the American version of a J Horror Ghost with like blonde hair. <laughs> Ew. Yeah. Like, a wet like. We were supposed to mess. stop the episode. I know. I'm just talking now. <laughs> we could. This can be in or in, not in. It's fine by me. Uh, but I just, the thought came into my mind that I had to get it out. We don't talk to each other off episode, <laughs> no, Joe. I know. This is breaking the rules. can't imagine a male version of Orange is the New Black, a show about men going to prison and having sex with each other that I have to convince my girlfriend to watch, and all my straight male friends and I love it and talk about it. because then they could make you a famous internet friend. <laughs> That's the goal. God, why didn't I start this in 2006? really weird that porn is like legal but prostitution isn't yeah you can you can get paid to fuck this guy but only if we can watch <laughs> oh my god it's never been put that way to me before that's terrifying mm -hmm. but tough Fire firefly was the thing that made me think about it like originally I was like oh, really? wait a minute yeah it kind of is okay that anara is a companion she's like a completely normal human being Oh my god, go! Oh, 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 you got it! Okay. But I don't know what to do here. I, I but know I'm know still gonna okay. say it, and you're so, gonna figure it out. Gotta, Welcome to Instant Replay Live! Uh, hey, you gotta let him shoot was, that. In the Star Trek movie? There, uh, oh, that didn't work. Wait, what was that? What? Nothing just happened. It hit the wall, and then you died out of nowhere. Huh. 
All right. Well, in Star Trek, the the, the, re, the re- is this on the episode or not? No, probably not. I, I don't know what to do here. Oh, there's a button on top. Yeah, I figure out how to get that button. Okay, we on episode? Oh shit, I didn't get it. Are back. we? Oh, oh. I'm watching oh a God. super oh, creepy God. gif. <gasps> oh, I killed him. Oh God, what am I? Do? Oh, I gotta got go. Bandage girl. I didn't know we were on episode. Welcome back to Instant Replay Live. Uh, or actually, no, this is mid episode, isn't it? Because we started and then we were gonna oh, cut to this. This is very confusing for us. <laughs> I was looking at my phone and I didn't even see Joe beat that part. So I have. Oh. Well, oh, at least okay. You got a checkpoint. Yeah, that's worth. crazy. Okay. First time you get a checkpoint in this game, isn't it? Oh shit. Yeah, I, I, I feel like it's, yeah. Oh, and I gotta start the timer too. God, I don't even know what we're gonna do. I'm gonna have to do so much work to make this fit. <laughs> I feel like that, that can be just- It's just gonna be a big finale. It doesn't even matter. I don't know how to make that jump. Um, but it's yeah. I'm starting right here though. What, what were we talking about? We were talking about how, how that Kirk kid had the, the weirdest scene in the Star Trek movie. Oh yeah. Him driving off a cliff. And the Cypress Hill music was kind of awesome for Kirk to listen to. I love Cypress Hill. Um, and that song is awesome. Like, yeah. I love it. It's coming on the radio a lot lately. I haven't heard it. <laughs> That's funny. I haven't um, heard it in a long time. <sighs> I'm trying to remember like the, the part. It's like... <sighs> oh, I'm in your planet! Something, something blabber to watch that belly get fat or fat boy on the diet. Don't try it. I'll jack your ass like a looter <laughs> in a riot. <laughs> I had to, I don't remember the lead up to it. I just remember that part. That part always stuck with me. But uh, uh, yeah. So I got an idea. It almost sounded like you were singing a different song. Were you singing a different song? I'm in your planet. Something something. Damn it. Wow wow wow. Are you wow. thinking? It's the scene. That's, that's the music that's used in that scene. Mm, well, I think we're talking about different things then. I don't know the scene that well to remember the song, but we were talking about Cypress Hill before we started talking about that. Is that Beastie? I'm thinking of Beastie Boys. Are you thinking of Sabotage? Yeah, Sabotage. I'm a set it straight, this what a gate. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That's, the scene, that's the song they use in that scene. Yeah, that's a different song. I'm sure Kirk listened to Cypress Hill too, though. <laughs> I'm sure he Probably did. Probably Biggie Smalls. Really? Uh, yeah. Well, let's, let's go through some other. I'm not ones, a player. Uh, I just crush what, a lot. What uh, what <laughs> contemporary music for us did Captain Janeway listen to? Uh, <laughs> some some Rihanna. Uh, Adele. Oh yeah. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. I set fire <laughs> to deep space. <laughs> to deep space. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, Captain Cisco. I think Captain Cisco listened to like Mambo music and stuff. Yeah, they they specifically went into what he listened to because they were trying to Kirk. I mean to Picard him. I you love, know. yeah, Captain Sisko was great, though. Like, yeah, oh, yeah. He was a really yeah. good captain. Captain Janeway, I feel like, had the problem of the show not being written perfectly. Yep. A lot of her side characters until until Seven of Nine came along. Have you were, seen The Captains? The documentary where I've they seen, go to all the different, like, I captains. I put it on like, when I was going to sleep. Oh, uh, you need quite, to rewatch it. Because I, I remember, like, Janeway talking to to, uh, the, uh, to, to, to Sisko. Kirk. And yeah. It was cool, yeah. The best part is Kirk and Cisco Shatner and whoever that actor's name is I don't know that hanging name. out, and they are clearly, well, at least the guy who plays Cisco is clearly like baked out of his mind. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and they start playing piano and trying to sing, but it's like oh, I remember they're not that. singing. Yeah. <laughs> they're not like singing the same, so it's just kind of super awkward, like. Kind of like I think though. I think Cisco's trying to like make up a song on the spot, and Kirk is like trying to hang with him, you know. <laughs> and he's like doing that that Shatner smile. That's like, is he really smiling? Or is he just trying to be on on camera? Is yeah. he like got the best at faking a twinkle in his eye? Yeah. Because I feel like that's the thing that Shatner is mm-hmm. like. He is the best at faking that eye twinkle. Yeah. No. I mean, legit. <laughs> right, For so sure. Captain Michael Dorn, Captain Worf. Uh, uh what? So they've been talking about doing a new Star Trek Whoa. with Worf as the captain. <gasps> oh Michael Dorn is like super behind the idea. Oh my god, to, yes. Uh, he's been trying to get the production going for it. Oh uh, I don't know what god. the status of that is because I haven't looked into it deep enough. But man, wouldn't that be great? I like, would be so down for that. Uh, that would be amazing. I'm sure we got the music that Worf liked too. I, I, he definitely likes some tra- traditional Klingon music, but I'm trying <laughs> to think of what Earth music, if any, he would listen to. ICP. Uh, ICP? <laughs> no! How dare you! How dare you? I 
like to think of, of Worf as like a, a modest mascot. You're right. So we'll, we'll bring it back to Scott Bakula. His captain loves ICP. Oh, God. <laughs> that, that opening music I for, believe... the, for the, the Star Trek. Like... I almost went with I Believe in Miracles. What's the Miracles song other than the magnets? How do they work? I can't think of anything from that song, which is it's kind of a gracious godsend. <laughs> like, I don't really want to think of anything from that song, but... Leaving, thinking about miracles. Miracles He's... all around us. We don't even know it. Oh my god. <laughs> How do you know so much? Uh, I have listened to that song far more than is okay. <laughs> Why? So that song is like, it's like one of those things that's like, I hate the world, right? Uh-huh. All right, but that song is like the most humorous you can get at hating the world. Like, it's, it's the embodiment of stupidity. Yes. But it's done so in a way that's so, like... Positive? <laughs> I don't, yeah, right? Like, <laughs> it's so just alien in the way... <laughs> Except these, like, fucking scientists trying to lie to me and shit. <laughs> <laughs> How do you explain a rainbow? <laughs> Shaggy's little kids just look just like daddy. Oh, my God. How the fuck does that work, man? Genes? I don't know. Yeah, I don't understand genetics <laughs> in the most basic way. Fucking scientist lying to me, getting me pissed. Oh, that's the line. That's the line. Yeah. <laughs> oh my uh, god, Joe. Why have you listened to that? I can't I can't so, handle it. Weirdly enough, I heard that song first on Loading Ready Run, where they did A Science Explains Miracles, which is amazing. And if you guys haven't seen, heard the, the rap song, Science Explains Miracles, that's definitely something All you right. need to link I'm, to. I might have to check that out. Um... <laughs> uh, how do I reconcile my juggalo style with my science profile? <laughs> That's not the exact line, but something along those. Yeah. Yeah, oh, if shit. you're down to clown this, with science textbooks. I've been doing this same jump the entire episode so far. Uh, I don't know how to get past it, to be honest. Yeah, we've been a lot. I think we're going to go into another episode, but at least we have a, a starting point that kind of works, you know? Yeah. So, um, why don't we just do that, because I think we had more than enough on, on these two sections of episode. Sure. Are we, are we at the end of an episode? Yeah. I kind of want to talk about the Beastie Boys. Let's do that. Oh, well, you got something quick? No, I just want to say I love the Beastie Boys. Like, aren't they the best rap band of all time? Intergalactic planetary. Right? <laughs> Jazz and AWOL, that's, that's our, our team. team. Step into the party, disrupt the whole scene. <laughs> Style profile! I'm wild. Like a slap you in the face like a bitch. What, what was the uh, line of Mr. Spock? To tie uh, it all together. Like a Star pinch Trek. on the neck from Mr. Mr. Spock. Spock. Yeah, yeah, that's it. All right. Well, that does tie it well. So there's the end of the episode. Thanks for <laughs> watching, guys. Tell us your favorite Beastie Boys lyric in the comments. Uh, yeah, I want to see that. Uh, that would be good, actually. Right. And uh, come back for the Meat Boy finale. Hopefully, maybe. Pos maybe. Possibly. Oh, I could hope. <laughs> Nick could hope. You really kick it. Kick Yo, it. plans, free stroke, Sonic Golf. Sonic Golf?